some people in the comments section wanted me to film me completing the rest of the levels uh, for the crystals. Um, I got as far as Warp Room 4. So this will be an unedited, probably, um, playthrough of me just collecting the crystals. I'm not doing anything special. Uh, I need to collect the crystals, obviously, to have access to the running shoes and the death tornado and the bazooka. Which will help give me um, a little bit of help defeating Wumpa Lewis's Platinum Relic times, considering he has all of the power-ups. And I am missing um, two, bazooka and running shoes. And uh, yeah, yesterday I defeated Entropy um, when I saw the comment asking for me to record um, videos of me doing the crystals. And I was very surprised to see that less than 20% of people that have played um, the Crash Trilogy have even got as far as Entropy. That's shocked me a little bit. Whoops, it easy. Oh, wow. Um, you can see that I have basically hardly any lives, so I actually may need to collect some lives. I'm not getting the gems currently because I'm in a rush to... Uh, get the relic um, situation sorted first. So I will go back for the um, the gems later. Especially as some levels require you to like have a certain amount of relics anyway. So wait, am I? Uh... Am I stupid? Potentially. I've just thought something I've been doing wrong my whole life might be at the top of these stairs. This part here. Can I? Yes, you can. You can just hover over that. Oh, wow. I've been doing that wrong my whole life. I was just trying to get lucky for my entire life. Okay. All right. Well, that's good to know. Learned something new from the Insane Trilogy. Go figure. But yeah, I'm going to have to collect some um, Wumpa Fruit. I am very close to death. To game overing. Right, I believe there's like some nitro crates or something. TNTs, okay. Been a while since I've done these levels casually. Cool, I was really hoping that wasn't going to destroy the TNTs up here. Alright, there we go. Life. Alright, rebuilding up the reserves. I have to get used to this death tornado. I've heard that it's very useful for saving time on quite a few levels. So I better uh, learn how to properly utilize it casually. Wow, what the? Oh no. Oh gosh. Wait, how far? Are... Oh gosh, that was all the way back here. You know what? I might have to actually consider doing the bonus stage just to make sure I can get some lives. Give me fruit said Eve to Adam before they left the garden. Okay, what I'm seeing is accurate. These arrows can only hurt you while they are going up. They don't seem to have any effect on you while they're retracting. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Alright. Cool, we made it to the checkpoint. That's all that matters. And an Aku Aku to boot. Right. What are the odds? Eh, we should be fine. I might regret that, but we should be fine. No, 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 no. Don't spin away the fruits. I'll be happy once I'm back to around five lives. Oh yeah, this guy. Yeah, I remember you. Whacking my balls on your head gives me life. Quite as um, impressive as po uh, Cola, Cola Pro, yeah. Not quite as classic as a uh, Cola though, who gives you actual lives instead of just one through. Very nearly. 
Still got an Aquaculus, it's fine. Wait, where is Button? Oh. That level wasn't too bad at all, really. Not bad at all. Couple of deaths. I can imagine it being a bit of a pain to do quickly, but not too bad on uh, a normal playthrough. Right, what's up next? 17 is Bye Bye Blimp. Okay, this should be a pretty casual level. It might be a good opportunity for me to get lives as well. Oh, I thought this level required Coco. Okay. I thought this was a Coco level. I thought it was this one's Coco and the next one's Crash. Maybe you can just play as both now. Since they both have a pilot model. That'll be it. Oh no! Wait. There's a button to like evade? Oh, there it is. It's a. Okay, that seems to work. Then health break. Get a life. Brilliant. Magic number four. Oh crap! Oh crap! Oh crap! That uh, so level's actually not too bad either. I think it's the other one though that's pretty difficult. I seem to recall the other one actually giving me a little bit of trouble, even casually. This one not too bad. Got to get one more. If we can get within range, that'd be great. Okay, there we go. Busted. Easy level. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I did a couple of war rooms off camera because I didn't know there was a thirst to see me do this casually. Um,. The levels haven't really been that difficult. I died a bunch of Entropy, but that was me, like, messing around with a, um, a well-known speed strat to defeat him quickly, where you can just kind of double jump spin across. Distinctly amazing boss fight when you play the game on the original. I hope it actually is as fun on this remake. Can I go faster than this? Or is this as fast as I can go? This really as fast as you can go? Wow, okay. This feels uh, really slow. the rate I'm going at, I might be able to get this warp room and the next warp room done um, relatively quickly. There are a couple of levels I am a little bit, um, what's the word, skeptical of my speed at, and that is Tomb Raider. Tomb Raider is a bit of a ball ache, um, as well as like the uh, futuristic levels with like the gunjack robots that fire at you. Seagull seems to have gone, okay. And this is the level that has the crystal in a really annoying spot where you can actually miss it. I believe it's three quarters of the way through the level though. At least I'm at here at checkpoint now. No, sugar. I hate this level though, it's just really boring. Like, um The vehicle levels on Crash Warped aren't fun, and this one is just I know, just boring as hell. And it's not just that it's the insane trilogy, I found these levels really, really boring on the originals as well. Um, the jet ski controls really slowly, which doesn't help its case. Let's get this mask, considering we're dying a lot. 
Oh, the uh, exit portal's like right over there. I never noticed that before. I don't think I ever really come that way though when I play this level. And then get out the way. Gotta come back through all of these levels to do the bloody gems as well. So I've gotta relive this level two more times after this. Once for the relic and once for the gem. Good point that'll do. 87 fruit, so we need to collect a couple more fruits. We've got an aqua aqua mass so we can survive uh, Sid the Seagull. Look how long this level is as well. Like, this is totally not fun. Have I gone past the crystal already? No, it's over here, isn't it? I can see it. Okay. Knew it was coming up. Right, let's take this. Come on, come on. Just. That's it. Wow, really? What did I even touch the bomb with? My high heels? Oh, fuck, and all the way back here. Yay! Make me relive this boring ass level. Yeah. Oh. That put me decently far back as well. I was all the way over there by that damn island. Oh, well, at least we got the crystal, so I can just avoid, like, looking out for stuff and just go for it now. Never mind. I don't even remember encountering those bowling bombs when I just literally was at that part of the level. Well, we're back in the uh, position of needing to collect some more fruit now, so that's going to be fun. Right, what are you up to? Fire? Okay, so you actually do fire. Are you freaking for real? How close are those damn bowling bombs to each other? Really? Gosh, game, take period on me. Give me an Aku Aku mask so I can just get through this nonsense. I don't think I actually have enough lives to play out the Aku Aku um, element, though. Because I think you have to die five times before Aku Aku takes pity on you. And I only have two lives left. Right, so where did I go wrong? Right, you're going to fire, and you're going to fire really slowly. Alright, we got through. Okay, great. What are you doing? You're going that way, no problem. Crystal was right there, so we're back to where we were. Oh, yes! Oh yes, give it to me. Give me the C. Man, this is going to be a really crappy level to do the relic on, isn't it? I bet you the time is not like crazy hard, but like I bet it's just going to be a bit of a pain. Just the time frame is going to be like over the ramps and things like that. Well, worst level I've played literally in the game so far, up until this point. Alright, what's 18? Oh, that was 18. What's 19? Alright, good level. I like this level. Future Frenzy! don't really have enough lives to dick around in this level though, so I still need to be playing a little bit of collection. Um, a little bit of collecting of the Wumpa Fruit. We are going to have the Bazooka though after this level, which makes the rest of the game a breeze, since you can literally just kill everything before you get near it. And this is the precursor to one of my favorite Crash Bash levels, Space Bat. With the uh, futuristic design of the towers. 
Would I play a Trash Bash remake if it was like less than twenty dollars, and you had and you could actually pay online? Yes, I would. If they tried to set like a, I don't know, forty dollar price tag on Crash Bash, I don't think I'd buy it. All through my childhood, I used to try and avoid those assholes uh, on the UFOs. I never knew that you could kill them by double jumping on them, at least until you got the bazooka. So I'd just try my best to wait for their electricity to wear off. All right, yeah, this level's going well. I'm not doing it particularly quickly, but that's the beauty of doing this level uh, casually. You don't actually need to. All right, where are you up to? Jump over you, that's fine. Give me a life, please. No, just root. Oh, this jump here is going to be horrible on the relic, isn't it? You're going to, like, be ruining it if it doesn't, like, allow you to just go straight up and over. And here's the uh, the funny thing, actually. I thought that those guys on the UFOs would have as annoying hitboxes as those bullshit enemies from Spaced Out. So I'm actually really glad to see that their um, hitboxes are quite reasonable. Okay, you can just jump over that. Slide spin jump is coming in handy on this level. Over, 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 over. Oh. Again, I'll be happy when I'm at like four lives, that's when I'll stop collecting fruit. It's a healthy number to be at. What? What the balls Mahoney killed me there? He was like in um like in blue shell mode. I like, what the hell? I didn't deserve to die there. And I've got no Aki Baki mask even now, so I've actually gotta be careful. Still on a good amount of lives, at least. Yeah, um, what the... the hell happened there? Okay, gotta do this carefully then. So apparently you can kill me even when you're closed. There we go, okay. Alright, play it your way. Alright, apart from that really stupid last enemy's hitbox extending beyond even when he's in defense mode, that was an okay level. Alright, I believe... Did I do... Wait, did I do level 70? I did, okay. We're on level 19 already? No. Funny. Alright, alright. Um, I do like Tomb Raider casually. I'm not looking forward to this level when the relics are involved. I'm just going to put that out there. It's a decently challenging level. Bang. Don't know why uh, Crash just couldn't have like his scuba gear on, um, like on um, on call, so that he can just uh, swim every time the water comes up. Oh no! Didn't want to touch you. All right, we're just gonna play this safe. We're absolutely not gonna be able to play this safe in the real run, but. We should be okay, we still got three lives. We're not gonna get an abundance of one per crew on this level, I feel. It just has that vibe to it. Yeah, look at that, just lots of uh, ones. Oh wait, never mind. Let's get to four fruit. Four fruit, four lives. Yes! Okay, we're up to four lives. Ooh. Hold. Okay. Oh. oh, we didn't actually go up to that point. We could have done the death path. But I believe that it may interfere with you getting the uh, crystal if you do the death path. Oh, not yet.
I still have not really figured out how to effectively use the Death Tornado. That was not it, Chief. Oh, the audacity. Doesn't even let you on the death path if you die after the fact. Guess you gotta stand on it first. But yeah, I'm not I'm not really understanding how the death tornado controls on this version. He's not like death tornadoing for me when I'm pressing the button a million times. Well sometimes he is and then sometimes he isn't. You see what I mean? Oh no no no. He's just kind of like he does it once and then that's it. Is it supposed to be like Spyro the Dragon? Oh, you just can't double jump and do it at the same time, apparently. Oh, I did there, so why did that work? And then the other times it hasn't. This level's gonna be crap, because I need to figure out how this even works. Alright, Nitro's gonna go up. This is where the bazooka would be useful. Fire that while the water's up. I believe we are near the end of the level. This looks like the final stretch. Ooh, don't want to do that. Nice. Alright, let's just get out of here. I don't want any more Wumpa Fruit. That'll do. Alright, best boss in the game um, from the original trilogy coming up. So I'm excited for this. And then, yeah, just five more levels to do. Um, and I'm ready to actually do the Relic Runs. Um, from Warp Room 1, I'm really far behind Lewis at this point. Who is already on Warp Room 3. I wouldn't be surprised if by the time I put this out, he's done like at least three of the levels. Oh, what am I talking about? I believe he only has one level left to do. High, whatever it's called. High time? No, what's it called? The uh, second Aladdin level, I believe he's got to do. Alright, let's try and take out his rockets first, as opposed to the Gatling guns. Just makes it makes it so you have one less thing to worry about. Ooh! Apparently he hit me there. Oh no. These take quite a beating, these uh, rocket launchers. Alright, well, we luckily got rid of the Gatling gun pretty damn early. How do you avoid that? Are you supposed to go over it? Do they, like, alter the boss fight? I seem to recall that you just have to, like, be underneath the entire time whenever he did that. This uh, dispenser towards the bottom is the one that used to terrify me as a kid because it does, like, I believe the most damage. Because it takes a really long time to... Uh, dis yeah, it doesn't have much health, the dispenser itself, but the uh, objects, if they hit you, they do a lot of damage. Alright, I'm going to focus on getting the rockets out of the way, I guess. Oh, yeah, those, those, uh, other dispensers don't take anywhere near as long as I remember to destroy. I remember the rocket dispensers taking a while because they, you know, open and close so much, but I didn't remember these purple dispensers, um, doing that. Interesting.
Okay, this is the... Uh, yeah, this boss fight was even easier on this version than the original somehow. Alright, well, game easy now. It just depends how slow I want to take it. Like, if I um, want to be fast, then obviously taking the bazooka out is going to be not really conducive to that. But 